Hi everyone, Mina here, and today in this quick blender tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create these stylized water rings so that you can create your own artistic rainy scenes. Okay, so let's create a new blender scene with the usual starter file. And the first thing I'm gonna do is delete the cube, because instead what I want to create is a circle. And so now if I type into edit mode, I can actually create a face for my vertices. And I'm gonna inset those vertices to have a ring. So now that I've uh, got my inner vertices, I can press X and delete the face, and I now have a ring. So back into object mode, you see that if I scale the ring down and up, I do have the growing effect of a water ring. So let's actually key this movement. Let's create a small animation. So I'm gonna bring up the timeline. And basically I'm gonna insert keyframes um, at frame one. So for example, here with my uh, scale of one, by pressing the I key on uh, the scale property, I just inserted a keyframe. You can see the keyframe here with the diamond in the timeline. And so if I go to the frame 20, for example, I can create another keyframe. Uh, with some scale of 2, for example, uh, so that we have a, a bit of growth. And so now if I just scrub between the two keyframes, I do have my circle that just grows. But of course, for frame 1, we don't want a scale of 1, we actually want a scale of 0. So I'm just going to zero out all of this and replace my keyframe. And so now I do have a ring that grows from 0 to 2 or so. But it doesn't really look like a ring in the water, because in the water, the ring just loses energy, and so it is less and less visible. So we want it to actually shrink in terms of thickness, as it grows um, in terms of position. And so to do that, the trick is not to use an animation like we did, so an animation on the object, but rather to animate its geometry itself. And the way to do that is actually to use blend shapes. So blend shapes are accessible over here in the little green triangle. This is the panel that's dedicated to the geometry of your model. Um, basically here you see that you have this shape keys section. And this is where you can uh, create blend shapes. So blend shapes are a way of storing different configurations of your mesh and then interpolating between those to create some intermediary shapes. So you're not gonna add or remove geometry, you're just gonna move your vertices and your faces to change the shape of your model, but still the same geometry. For example, here what we can do is create a first reference blend shape, that's the basis, so this is our current shape. And another one that is with the thickness brought down to zero. And so if I go to edit mode and I select all my vertices, I can basically change the thickness of my ring. And so you see that it doesn't scale down to the center like before, it just uh, changes the thickness around this radius. So let's bring this uh, down to zero. And now if I go back to object mode, you see that I'm back to my normal shape. That's because this key for now is not really applied. To apply it, you have to change the value so basically, if the value is 1, this blend shape is going to be totally applied. So here my ring has completely disappeared because its thickness is down to 0. And I can do interpolated values, so I can blend between the two. For example, with 0.5, I have a ring that is slightly thinner, but isn't 0 because it's blended between the thick ring at um, the basis and the invisible ring at uh, the key 1. So if I just turn it off, this is my basic shape. And if I turn it on, you see that I blend in between the two. So this is really cool uh, to morph your geometry into something else without having to actually add or remove any geometry. And the cool thing is that we can animate this property. So let's go back to our frame one and so that here we want the value to be zero. And again, by pressing I, I can keyframe it and now on our frame 20, we're going to say that we want uh, this key to have a value of 1. And so now, if I just uh, reduce my end keyframe to have the animation loop to 20, 
you see that I have this really cool ring of water animation. And so basically we have two movements happening at the same time. Um, our object is growing, but the geometry is getting thinner and thinner. And so you have this ring that just grows overall, but gets thinner and eventually disappears. And that's it for today. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you learned something. Don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up if you did and to subscribe to the channel to see more of my videos. And also tell me in the comments if you have other ideas of cool blender tricks that you'd like to learn so I can make other tutorials on them. As always, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you soon for more videos on games and tech.